Alrighty, for the purpose of this video, just so I can put it in here. Okay, so you guys notice I've got a thousand miles, 0.2. Uh, and just to show you the math, it says, let's see how, well, I don't know if I, can't remember if I filled all the way up, but we'll see what happens. 8.1. And you can see here I put in 123.591 gallons at 279 a gallon here. So, yeah, this is going to tie in in a second. You'll see. Oh, righty, BRT. All right, take two. Let's try that again without pressing the damn button. Okay, so... We're here in the truck and we want to talk about the homework assignment. We got our pad of paper ready. Do you guys have your pad of paper ready? Let me flip to a good page in the box here. Okay, so can't you guys sit still? Really? Come on. Okay, so we're sitting here with our trusty computer and we're just going to bring up the calculator. There we go. I got to clear it though. How do I clear it? there we go okay so you guys saw so we'll round it off at a thousand miles okay we're gonna put that hold on just wanted to grab the receipt okay so you guys are gonna get your homework stuff I just wanted to put down that we put in 123 gallons 0.591 not that it matters we can round that off at a cost of 300 and 45.93 anyways it's irrelevant okay so what you guys need to do see since you did your homework okay the first thing i want you to do is you had your starting mileage right and you didn't write anything else down you didn't you topped off but you didn't need to write down the gallons or price or anything for the first one because that would go from previous so you don't need to worry about that so and then you did your fill-ups right guys so you wrote down your gallons, how much it cost you to put in, and then you made a separate column for any def that you did, gallons and price. We'll get to that. Okay? So what you're going to do right now, for those of you, you may have done it yesterday, you may do it today, you may do it tomorrow. Uh, when you do your final fill up here and you fill it all the way up, and actually, guys, I want you to run this for a month. But for the sake of this, you guys, on your next top off, write your mileage down, Write your gallons, write how much it costs you, and then just continue on with it and take away the mileage. But for this particular assignment, to get you guys going here, to give you an idea, you need to write it down. So you're going to take your starting mileage and you're going to subtract. Oh, we got people impatient and honking horns and oh my freaking goodness. It's craziness out here, a zoo in the parking lot. Okay. So, let's just continue on here. You're going to subtract your starting mileage from your ending mileage, which is going to give you your total miles that you did in this test period. Okay, so you're going to write that total mileage down. For me, because you saw on the video, I didn't do the homework assignment because I already know what's going on with my truck. But for you guys, so I just wrote down the 1,000 miles. You guys saw it in the video. We did 1,000. It was point whatever. Doesn't really matter. 1,000 miles rounded off. And then you're going to total up all your gallons. Okay? And at the bottom, you're going to put your total gallons. For me, we just did today's fill-up at 123.5 gallons, 591 gallons. And then you're going to total up all your costs. Okay? Whatever total that was, my cost was 345.93 for that last fill-up, right? Okay, so let's go to the calculator here. And hopefully you can see this because my screen capture doesn't work on this computer the same way. So you've got the 1,000 miles correct correct what we want to do is we're going to take the amount of gallons we're going to do divide by 123.591 equals 8.091 so technically rounded off it is 8.1 okay so if we just clear that and we did a thousand miles Divided by 123 equals C 8.13. So round it off 8.1. Either way, it's 8.1 uh, because of the round off, okay? And you saw on my dash shot there that it was 8.1. Okay, so we know that part's correct. So now that you've added up all your miles, again, whatever the total is, and just for shits and giggles and for this video, 1,000 miles, 
And then what you're going to do is you've added up all your gallons. So you're going to divide whatever number your miles is that you've done, and you're going to divide it by your total number of gallons put in. in my case, 123. This will give you your average miles per gallon. Okay? Now the reason you do this over a period of time, guys, is because you have different loads, whether it be heavy, light, uh, different terrains, hilly terrain, flat terrain, whatever. So that's why you gotta do it over a period of time, and it's best actually to do it over a month, but for this particular assignment, we did it over two weeks, even though I said a week, uh, and I thought last week you guys would have preferred the inside tour of the W900. Anyways, so, okay, what does that give you and what does that mean? Okay, so what this means is, what you also got to figure out, and we're going to clear this, okay? Now you're going to add up the column that has your total number of how much money you spent. In this particular case, because it's only the one fill up, 345.93 divided by your total number of gallons put in will give you your average cost per gallon 2.81 cents okay well i guess i didn't do that 100 percent right did i uh let's see here 345.93 divided by 123.59 one equals two that's better 279 is what i was charged what did i do with my receipt and of course that's what it says here but for you guys this will give you your average cost per gallon over this test period this is an important number okay so make sure you write down whatever that number is 279 nine so really uh, or point uh, 279 eight so if you round it off it's 280 okay Always round it off. This is just an approximate. So if you've done five or six fill-ups or whatever, and you, like I said, your total cost, divide it by the total number of gallons, or you know, and then that'll give you your average price per gallon. An average, okay? This is roughly what you're gonna spend. That's why you should do it over a month, because it'll give you a little bit more accurate. And this is all gonna come to next week's video. So I just want you to write that down and remember what it was, okay? So, what you have now accomplished is you figured out what your average miles per gallon are in your truck. So you know now you've got an average, okay? Whatever that may be, my particular case, it was 8.1, see, we wrote it down, 8.1 miles to the gallon, okay? So, if you're trying to calculate out uh, how much fuel you're going to need to finish off a trip or do a trip It's real easy because you know roughly what your average is So you just take your miles And in this particular case, let's say we have a thousand mile trip to do and we want to know roughly because we don't want to over fuel And we want to know roughly how much it's gallons we need to put in so divide by 8.1 which is our average it's going to give us 123 gallons and then you're going to multiply that by your average cost per gallon, which is 280, roughly. And you know you're going to have to spend about $345 for fuel for that trip. So this is giving you an idea of what you're going to need to do per trip for planning. So let's say um, you've got a trip, you've, let's say you've got a half a tank of fuel and you're getting close to the end of pay and you've got a, a 500 mile trip and we'll just clear that you know to finish off but you don't want to over fuel because you know it's going to come off on your statement so you know your average is 8.1 so you're going to put that in you know you're going to need roughly 61 gallons and then you're going to think well it's a very hilly area so my fuel mileage is going to be a little bit less so you say oh i'm going to put in you know 65 gallons at times and you know the average price that you pay uh, is roughly 2.8 so you know you're gonna have to spend about hundred and eighty two dollars not that this number is really relevant right now because where you're going may the fuel may be cheaper it may be more expensive this is for a long term which we'll explain next week but the important part is basically figuring out you know you got a 500 oh uh, let's do it 582 mile uh, trip that you're on and you don't want to overfuel and you want to 
roughly figure out 8.1 equals so you know you're gonna have to put in 71 gallons oh it's gonna be hilly and you're a little bit heavier so let's put in 80 gallons so this way you're gonna put in a little bit extra but you're gonna be pretty close to smack on to what you're gonna need to to do this trip and in this way you're not gonna overfuel okay so just remember that guys you take your total number of gallons and get your total number of uh, uh, miles divide your total number of gallons into the miles and that'll give you your approximate average of what your truck is running okay so the longer period you do this the better off you are to get closer to what your actual average is why because you're gonna do different types of trips you're gonna do hilly trips you're gonna do flat trips you're gonna do heavy trips you're gonna do light trips now where this you don't have to do it over an extended period of time is if let's say you're on a dedicated run and you do the same thing over and over and over and over again so really you only need to run maybe three trips four trips do it for a week or two and it's going to give you a good average of what you uh, are doing um, me i have four trip odometers in here so it just makes it a little bit easier and they're pretty dead on uh, for me to track what i'm doing both on a weekly a trip basis uh, per fill up basis and a daily basis okay so anyways next week's video is where we're gonna break down uh, breaking down your costs and knowing exactly what your costs per trip are so I want you guys to continue on with the homework project keep your mileage going keep your fill ups track of your fill ups and how much it's costing and remember you can do the same thing for your um, def okay use the same mileage to total up your gallons that you've put in in def over the the, the time period uh, take your total of cost also and divide your gallons into your miles and you're going to know roughly what your miles per gallon on your def is okay it'll give you a really good idea so anyway so that's this week's uh hope this is helping people next week it's all going to come together into one final video that's going to help you not only for the miles per gallon average but it's also going to help you with breaking down your costs per trip uh, just to give you a better idea of uh, basically what your truck is costing you each week type deal all right so that you can have a rough idea of what your running costs are anyway that's it that's all for today's video we'll talk to you next week